What's going on guys, Ryan with Data Patrol, back with another video, episode 66 of Six Scale News. Let's get started. That's right guys, Ryan back with another video today, episode 66 of Six Scale News. Before we get into the news, which I do have some news for you, before we get into the news, I, I just want to touch on, I don't get into like other non-collecting stuff very often here on the channel, but this morning uh, we were attacked. Uh, we lost 13, as of the recording of this, we lost 13 uh, of our U.S. military personnel uh, over in uh, Afghanistan. And I, I got to tell you guys, um, I'm incredibly um, angry, would be a good word for it, uh, upset, sad, um, just all, all of the emotions I've got going on today. So I'm really, I'm going to fight through this episode to get through it. Uh, thoughts and prayers are out there with our uh, service members and their families. Uh, I can't imagine um, the, the fear, the, the heartache, uh, the pain, all, all that stuff that's going to, uh, they're going to be going through over the next little bit. Uh, and our thoughts and prayers with our service members still all over the world and hopefully uh, they'll be kept safe. We know you are out there to protect us and we are very grateful, at least I am. I'm very grateful to you guys. I know all you out there in YouTube land are as well. Uh, Vader maybe uh, not so much. But anyways, I, I really, I, I set up that I was going to record this episode today. That stuff happened and I, all day I've just been in a in a funk and not really in the mood to do this, but we're going to do it anyways, because that's what we do. So anyways, I just want to throw that out there. You can throw your thoughts in the comments down below if you would like to on that, uh, but we're going to go ahead and get in this news uh, as difficult as it may be. So X06, we'll, we'll start off with those guys, Nanjin uh, over there. And they've been doing some pretty cool stuff recently i reviewed unboxing reviewed the uh commander data figure from uh, star trek first contact uh they are releasing uh picard i think that one's release is like either happening now or happening very shortly uh picard's going to be coming out which that sculpt looks amazing i think i've got a photo in here of that as well uh, but they announced and have put up for pre-order and at least on their own website sold out of the Janeway, Captain Janeway from Star Trek Voyager. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm a Voyager fan. I enjoyed the show. I thought, you know, it was good. I, I don't have any issues with that. Uh, I think the figure looks fine. I, the one thing that has got me off a little bit, I think the their, their photographer, whoever's doing their photos, hire somebody else. I mean, that's, that's the best thing I can say about that. Because it, on this particular photo, the lighting is not good it's just it's just not good lighting and it, it's harsh and it makes the figure uh it's either the, it's the lighting and the editing i think there's a little bit of high contrast thing going on here um the lighting is is harsh on this figure and it, it, it's distorting the sculpt so i don't think the photography is very good because it on this particular photo it looks very uh mattel i guess hasbro you know it's very hard plastic um and and very high gloss on skin tones and hair and I don't think that's the way it is. The data, I don't feel like was that way. I think the data skin tone was fine. The hair definitely needed more uh, paint applications uh, for that figure. So I, I don't know. Uh, I think I've got one more photo in here. Yeah, uh, one more photo in here. Yeah, it has all the accessories uh, that she comes with, with her, her coffee mug, uh, a bunch of hands, which are nice. You get a bunch of hands, you get a little you know, iPad thing. I don't know what the heck that thing's called. You're gonna get a phaser, get a track order, and you get a phaser rifle, uh, and you get a display stand. I, I think it's a, a fine looking figure, and the price point's good, and they're gonna be pumping these things out. I just think the the photos are frustrating. <laughs> they're just frustrating. But that being said, it does look like a good figure, and I think uh, Star Trek fans out there are gonna be excited to have that one in their collection. However, they also teased, not that guy, that this is the, well, this was out of order, but Picard right here, this portrait looks great. Like it doesn't look super high gloss plasticky at all. And they nailed the hair, which didn't really have very much. This I think looks really, really good. This Picard, I, and I'm hoping they do some other versions of him and, and different, you know, attire. This is from uh, First Contact. So it's gonna be interesting to see, but I think this, this is actually a pretty good sculpt. How many people how many people are considering getting this to make a Professor X? 
because that sculpt is really is pretty good and I can totally see them doing a Professor X. How hard would that be? You gotta make, I mean, you could 3D print you a hover chair or put him in a regular like X wheelchair and do some 3D printing wheels or something and use this portrait for that. I, I could see a reason to get two of these to get the extra portrait to make yourself a Professor X. Uh, from the X-Men, so I it's pretty good sculpt. I think it would be pretty good. So I don't know Maybe somebody else has already thought of that. I think it would be pretty cool uh, But they tease this is what I'm gonna talk about. They tease the hollow doctor the holographic doctor uh, from uh, Voyager as well. This thing looks amazing I'm just kidding. We don't know what the hell it looks like <laughs> we, we don't know what it looks like it the, the uniform looks good. I'm, it's probably going to look good. Honestly, the portrait is as good as the uh, Picard portrait. I think it's going to be just fine. But this was a standout character, um, you know, in in that series. And I think it's going to be pretty cool to have those two together. Uh, and uh, you guys, let me throw your thoughts down below on the portrait. Or the head sculpt. Or the head. Or whatever. <laughs> whatever you want to call it. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. All right, moving on. We're moving on. We're moving on. All right. Uh, Hot Toys uh, last week announced the reissue that everybody wanted. I, I there, there was not a day gone by on Facebook, in groups, on Reddit, on Instagram, wherever else. There's not a day gone by where we didn't see reissue the construction version Mark Three Iron, Iron Man. Right? No, that's not. <laughs> Uh, I'm getting it because I honestly, about a month or two ago, I was actually looking for this to go with my uh, my display because it's not a terribly expensive piece. Um, but it's not for everybody, and I get it. And everybody's going to say, well, they reissued another Iron Man. Well, they're not. They reissued, well, he's actually half the man uh, he used to be. Uh, so there you go. There's there's the Iron Man Mark III construction version. I think it's a cool diorama piece. If you're going to get, like, we're getting the mech test Tony Makes total sense to have this one to go along with it in the diorama deal. I, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I think retail on this is around $180. I've spent more on diorama pieces, so that's not terrible uh, for me. I, you know, it's not, not going to be for everybody, but I think it's a cool piece if you want to pick it up. It does have some light up features, which I think are nice. I think it's pretty cool light up features in the head on uh, an arc reactor and whatnot, and the like the working repulsor things got going on. Uh, and there's a uh, one on the other side. Uh, so I, it's pretty cool. I don't know. You guys can let me know your thoughts on this one. Are you picking this up? And where is? Where's the reissue Mark 46 guy? Where you at, man? Comment down below. Let me know where you're at. All right, moving on. Hot Toys also announced a new figure, but we already knew about it from the Sideshow Con, which was the Return of the Jedi Scout Trooper. So we're going to get the Scout Trooper, and we're going to get a speeder bike. And you can get both. You can get... The trooper, but you can't just buy the bike. That kind of sucks, honestly, because the sideshow bike is just frustrating to deal with. And uh, I can imagine some people who already owned some scout troopers from sideshow or even the, uh, the uh, indoor Luke and Leia. They are. You might. I don't know. Anyways. I think this looks pretty good, and uh, I, I'm a big fan of this. Uh, I, the Mandalorian Scout Trooper, I think, is a good figure. I like the weathering on that one. I like the sand color. I like the like the matte finish on the paint. I, I like that figure a good bit. It's not my favorite figure in the entire like Trooper collection, as you guys know. I've I've, I've got one or two, um, but. I do think it's a pretty cool figure, and I will definitely be picking it up. And I really want this sniper rifle. This thing looks awesome. It looks awesome. The weathering on it looks fantastic. I, I think all around it's a great piece. The cummerbund thing's a little... Uh, I'm not sure how screen accurate that particular part is. I don't know. And I've seen some comments about the helmet gap. That doesn't bother me at all. I don't really... N none of those actually bother me. Uh, I mean, you're going to put it on your shelf and it's going to be a scout trooper and it's not you're not going to confuse it for anything else. I don't, I don't have an issue with that if you want to get super super nitpicky like just to the point of being annoying then yeah maybe the the gap in the head the, maybe i don't know um but uh it's your collection you buy whichever ones you want and that's how it works uh but the sniper rifle i think is amazing i'm a big fan of that and you look at all these accessories you're gonna get again a bunch of hands you're gonna get a sniper rifle you're gonna get this tiny little blaster that goes in this little ankle holster and you're gonna get if you get the two back you're gonna get the speeder bike which the speeder bike if you have the mandalorian version is the exact same bike Minus, you know, some different paint, and it's got a different little diorama base. 
I think that's fine. It should match up with our indoor uh, Leia and Wicket. They've got a whole bunch of scenery to go along with those figures, and I think look pretty good. The bike is fine. It's probably going to have those magnets that go in the feet again, which aren't really all that usable. To be 100% honest with you, they're kind of, at least on mine, they're pretty weak. So that's kind of a useless feature. Uh, that the magnets need to be a lot stronger, which I don't, I suppose you could change those out. I suppose you could uh, make a lot more sense. It's fun. It's a fun uh, vehicle to, to maneuver, to pose. I don't think everybody needs it unless you want to re, you know, recreate scenes. The speeder bike is, um, I think you'd be just fine getting the uh, Scout Trooper itself. I'll be getting the set, obviously, for review. And uh, since I recently got rid of my Sideshow Return of the Jedi speeder bike, hallelujah, um, I, I, I think I want this one. And I don't know if I'm going to get one or two. I really am a little, I'm a little annoyed, a little bit annoyed that you can't just buy the bike by itself. The marketing, it's a marketing move. The people who already had Luke or had Leia, they just want the bike and they, I, I don't know. And the other thing that's a little odd is this price point on this set is $50 higher than the Mandalorian. Now the Mandalorian speeder bike scout was like 450 ish and it came with the trooper, it came with the bike, and it came with a Grogu and a satchel and some other stuff. This is $50 more. What extra pieces are we getting? Like the, the ferns from Endor? I don't know. Maybe it's a price hike in anticipation of another global shipping crisis, in anticipation of profit or wh whatever. I don't know. I, I'm a little... I'm. I'm buying it, but you know what I mean. 50 bucks more. Uh, it's kind of a strange bump. It's kind of a strange bump. And I, I didn't go look at the Hong Kong prices to see if it was a bump there versus, or if it's just like a sideshow U.S. retail bump. I didn't look at that. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. I didn't look at that. Uh, I just saw what it was and was like, damn, like that. Why? I don't know. If, if you're going to give me, if you're going to charge me $50 more, at least give me something. Give me something. That's all. All right, uh, here we go. We got a photo of uh, Luke on the back of the uh, speeder bike with his scout trooper. Uh, will we get a reissue of the Luke? Yeah. It's a moneymaker. Why not? I don't know. I don't have any word about it. I'm just, that's just me thinking out loud. I don't know. But will we get one? Yeah, I can see it happening. Uh, which brings me to one thing. Um, people ask me all the time. Uh, would you pay X amount of dollars for this or that or whatever? I'm not a big fan of really like going backwards in collecting. I'm really not. I just kind of get the stuff I want unless I happen to cross across a ridiculous deal that just looks good and I want to pick it up, then I'll do that. But going backwards and like managing and, and getting into the secondary market, I don't really do that. And I don't watch it all that often because I don't play that game. I just buy them at retail if I can. Uh, if I find a deal on one of the Facebook groups or, or uh, forums or whatever like that, or if somebody's looking for one in, in my group and would do a trade or whatever, that's cool. Um, but generally, I don't pay attention to like eBay prices because I just, I just don't. Because uh, I don't really go backwards. So there's that. Um, I don't know if that helps you at all. But that's just my thought pattern on it. Um, on that. I have... Recently, I have recently acquired quite the Sideshow Clone Collection. Not because I was going to look for them, but just because I happened upon some good deals and I decided to pick them up. That's pretty much how. So I picked up, and I do have reviews coming up. I've got um, Clone Commander Wolf and a Wolfpack Trooper. I both, if you want to see a review, they're already in display, but if you want to see a review on those, let me know down below. Uh, I also have Commander Gree and a one of or I'm sorry. 442nd Trooper, they go together. I uh, have Commander Gree and a 442nd Trooper on the way. If you want to see a review on those, uh, let me know about that. Uh, I recently picked up as well uh, Waxer and Boyle and Numa, the three pack. Got, yeah, anyways, I've got a lot of clones coming in one of those things. I also have some other figures up there, which if you would like to see a review on those figures, let me know. This one right here. I already have traded out. <laughs> I haven't even opened it and I already traded it. So um, there's that. That was fun. Um, four more clones. So <laughs> it was like a choice. It's like, do I keep Justice League Flash or do I get more clones? And I said, 
clones, please. And that's so... I haven't even opened it yet, so... I will review it before it leaves, but I'm not keeping it. I'm going ahead and tell you that. Uh, moving on, we have 3-0 dropping some heat. Now, this is not 6-scale news. This is straight up, like, 12th-scale news. This is a new line that 3-0 is dropping called MDLX. If you know the DLX line that we got the Bumblebee from the Bumblebee movie, we got Prime, we got uh, so War for Cybertron figures, we got uh, different, you know, uh, Soundwave, Blitzwing, uh, we got uh, Megatron, just different things from, from those as well. This is the MDLX, which is tiny, 5-inch. This Bumblebee is 5 inches tall, die cast, and he's like 60 bucks. He's... For what you're getting, I don't know how the heck they're doing this at such a low price. I really don't. I have no idea. Uh, but it looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, that's It didn't load one of the photos, but whatever. Um, this Bumblebee. Awesome. The posability and the range of motion on this thing for a 5-inch figure being die-cast is unbelievable. For like $60. That's insane. Uh, this is actually going to be up for pre-order on Pop Collectibles. You can uh, check them out down below as well. Uh, I'm not sure where else it will be, but uh, it will be there. So but this is this is crazy. Absolutely crazy, and I'm super excited about this. Now, how many of these will I get as far as this lineup? I don't know. I don't know, because 3-0, they're doing some really cool stuff. I, I, I would encourage you to follow their Facebook and Instagram and all that kind of stuff, uh, because they're doing some great things, and uh, I think... I, I don't think they're done doing some cool stuff. They've actually released... I guess we'll take a look at the photo here in a second. Uh, oh, no, there's my photo. There's my other photo of B. I guess it just got out of order. Uh, but there's B doing a, a high kick. And then here's the accessories. He gets uh, six hands. He gets a switch-out head. And he gets a rifle, which is pretty cool. So continue on the 3-0 train. Uh, they're having an event coming up, which starts August 26th, which is the day I'm recording this. Uh, 26th, 27th, 28th, and the 29th. So this, this coming weekend, they are releasing on their website. So you got to pay attention on their website. Uh, the MDLX Bumblebee. They're doing Kenny's work. Sam Sam. I, I don't know what the hell that is, but that's something. Um, don't know. Uh, the Rambo First Blood. That's going to be cool. So if you want to see a review of that, let me know. Uh, they're doing uh, Rick Grimes, Walking Dead, 1-6 scale figure. I, I'm not a Walking Dead fan, but I know a lot of you are. And I think they're going to do a really good job with that. And they're doing uh, Carol... However the hell you say that last name. So I'm doing some Walking Dead stuff. These figures are going to be uh, available for purchase at uh, 8 p.m., on, on the eastern side, 8 p.m. Eastern, um, on their website. And I'll throw a link down below to this particular page. You can get all the details. You can pre-order all that kind of stuff if you want to get it straight from 3.0. If you want to get it from Pop Collectibles, I'll put a link for them down below as well. You can do that if you happen to miss their little online sale because they'll probably sell out pretty quick. Also, limited editions. We're going to get a Robo Duo. Du du I don't know what the heck that is. 120 pieces of that. Don't know. Uh, and the uh, Berserk Guts, which I already have on order myself. Uh, but if you missed out on the last batch of those being pre-ordered, uh, then they're going to release 250 pieces on their website on the 27th. And then the uh, Shattered Glass Soundwave and Ram uh, Ravage, which I also have on order. So we'll have reviews on those coming up. Um, those definitely sold out, and they're only putting up 100 pieces on the website on Friday. On Saturday, we're going to get the Dead Game Snake Eyes, which is uh, the Snake Eyes figure in the red suit. Uh, which is Dead Game is a four-issue comic run uh, they've got going on. 200 pieces of those. I do have one of those coming as well. And then we've got on Sunday, War for Cybertron, Nemesis Prime. I don't have that one on order, but I will probably do that. Uh, I'll probably get one of those. And, um, yeah, and uh, let's see, Nang Toy Bumblebee, Optimus Prime. So a lot of stuff going on on 3-0 land um, right now. Moving on to third party, Infamous Toys uh, recently sh is shipped the Space Wizard, aka Ebony Maw. I do have mine coming in. There are reviews already out there. I have heard this good. I haven't watched any reviews as I usually don't until if I'm getting something, I don't watch the reviews on it. So I don't have any, I haven't as much of an unbiased opinion as I can. Um, but I've heard they're good, and uh, I'm super excited about that one. I heard he's a he's a big guy, so we'll we'll see how it goes. But they're also doing. The Shadow Void, a.k.a. Proxima Midnight. And I do have this one on order. You can pre-order it with uh, Pop Collectibles if you'd like. And I'm super excited about this. So what i really like to see, I really like to see, uh, is how are they going to do Cole Obsidian? 
That would be amazing. Call Obsidian would be like Hulk size, right? I don't know. It's gonna be kind of cool to see that how they how they pull that one off. Uh, I'm super excited about that one. Moving on to the next thing, Jazz Ink Dioramas. Our guys Yost over there, which I do have a couple pieces coming from him. I've got the um, oh man, I've got a lot of stuff coming from him. Holy cow! The Ray Speeder from uh, Force Awakens. I've got the '66 Batmobile, which may be why I've got some of those things up there. I have the '66 Batmobile. Gonna be huge. Uh, he recently announced that that's gonna be dropping the first quarter of 2022. So we got some time on that one, so it's pretty cool. But then he announced, hey, we're gonna do a Batman Forever Batmobile. This thing looks ridiculous. It is up for pre-order right now. I will put a link to this down below if you wanna jump right to that. Uh, just became officially officially licensed with uh, Warner Brothers. And from what he's tell telling us, that he's got a lot of cool projects going on. And I don't think he's done I don't, th according to him, the 66 Batmobile is not the last thing we're going to see from the classic series. So what does that mean for these other series? I don't know. I have no, I, I don't, I don't know. But I'm excited. What do you guys think about this? We're going to, you're going to get the Batman Forever Batman and we're going to get um, the, the cod piece or the bulge. I call them the bulge. Batman and the bulge. Uh, and you can put them, I would assume they will fit in here depending on how flexible those suits actually are. I don't really know. Uh, but this uh, Batmobile looks fantastic, and I think it's super cool. I don't think I'm going to get this one. This one's, I'm more of the, like the 66 vibe or the 89 Batmobile. Like that one I would probably jump on. Um, or even the Batman Returns. Uh, that would be kind of cool. But this one right here, I'm undecided. But it does look awesome, and I'm sure he will do a fantastic job uh, at getting this thing out. Uh, I think... I think that's it as far as photos. So let's move on to the next thing, which is, which is Sideshow Collectibles has recently started shipping their 1-6 scale General Grievous. In fact, mine, which is somewhere around here, let's see where mine's at. If anybody's curious, mine shipped via FedEx on 24th, whatever day it was. And it says that is, that, well, it's still in California. It says it's going to be delivered Monday. So there we go. I don't. I can get a package from Alaska to my door within like 12 hours. Uh, but evidently, they can't get a, fig a, uh, a figure out of California <laughs> in several days. So I don't know. Anyways, so I, I have that figure come. Everybody's asking me, are you canceling the Sideshow General Grievous? And the answer is no. I'm not canceling it. I'm not. Um, it's the only six-scale General Grievous on the market. So that kind of limits, that, that kind of makes the decision for me. Now, if you remember, I recently, and I just reposted in the Facebook group, I recently uh, made a pitch meeting video for Sideshow General Grievous. I'll put a link up there for that. If you've got a few minutes, you might find it entertaining. Uh, a lot of people have, so uh, go check that out if you haven't already. Um, but this particular figure has been delivered to some people who are already on the West Coast and closer to the, their hub, and the reviews are not quite optimal <laughs> to, to say the least in fact i'll put some videos up on the screen uh, of one particular person who got theirs in and uh, it didn't go very well so you got floppy joints you got like a windmill effect he's got the actual spinning saber effect from revenge of the sith which is awesome no one uh, facebook group uh, member actually went so far as to make a suggestion to put electrical tape around the pin that go into the joint so the arms would actually stay the way you want them to go to stay. So if you want a workable, poseable Sideshow Six Scale General Grievous, all you need to do is go to Lowe's, spend a dollar, and get some electrical tape and put it on there. And you sh supposedly, it looked pretty good, uh, should have a figure you can pose. So what's your thoughts on that? My thoughts are, I'm not even shocked. I, I'm not... I can't act surprised. Like when mine gets here, we'll see. I don't know. We're, we'll go through it. I've seen photos like where the uh, the joints are split, the, the seams of the actual arms are split, and and sideshow goes on. I, I in fact I got this, and this is too too uh, small to put on the screen. So uh, bear with me while I do this. I was gonna put it on the screen earlier, but it's just too freaking small, so that won't work. Uh, but I want to read this to you. This is actual sideshow. Um, customer support 
response to this particular person. And again, I, it, I just go with me. Okay. And it says uh, he, he filed a, a, uh, an, a, a complaint. He filed a, a, a report with uh, Sideshow about his figure and says, um, says, hello. How are you doing? Hello there. Thank you so much for taking time to submit pictures of your General Grievous figure. I have reviewed your pictures and compared them to our in-house samples and a few other pieces. Now these are ones with like literally the arms split open. The plastic, the, it's not sealed right. The joints are going crazy. Okay, so they've compared them to other sample pieces uh, in their warehouse. However, I do not believe we can provide you a replacement that would be a significant improvement over your current item. What does that tell you? That tells you they're all a pile of shit. All of them. These are their words. Like I'm not. This is this is their actual email. Uh, I do not believe we can provide you a replacement that would be a significant improvement over your current item. Therefore, we produced a pile of shit and we shipped out a pile of shit and we told you it was improved, but we, it's not. And um, thank you for your three hundred dollars. <laughs> Your request regarding the extremely loose figure, unfinished plastic bits, and separation on all the molding lines are normal for this piece. Extremely loose figure, unfinished plastic bits, and separation on all the molding lines are normal for this piece. All the collectibles I examined look similar to your current item. The last thing I would want is to send you an identical replacement that risks more serious damage during the shipping process. So it's already broken in the warehouse. The seams already suck. The joints are already loose. And uh, I'm afraid to ship it. <laughs> uh, uh, identical replacement that risks more serious damage during the shipping process. So here's their response. If you would like to accept the replacement, a replacement right arm will be shipped to your address uh, once it has been inspected within the next seven days. Okay. I mean, they tip you a new arm. The one you know, is going crazy. If you wish to return the item for a full refund, I can arrange this for you at Sideshow Expense. In this case, you will receive a full refund. All money paid directly to Sideshow, including original shipment costs and non-refundable deposits. That is completely acceptable. I like no issues with that whatsoever. They just said, hey, look, if you're not happy with it, we'll take it. That is a huge benefit to what they got going on at Sideshow. Their customer service is awesome. So this is not a a, 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 uh, a blast on their customer service department at all because they, they do a really good job. So there's that. Um, the third option, if you wish to keep the item as is broken, uh, I can offer you a $30 credit as compensation in the form of a Sideshow gift card. Please be aware that accepting this credit will close your inquiry so you will no longer be eligible for an additional replacement exchange refund uh, after taking this credit offer. So that's fine. So here's the thing. They will give you your money back. That's fine. But that's not the freaking point. People wanted a good figure. They want, they trusted. Here, here's the thing. Sideshow has broken trust with the six scale community. That's just, they just broken trust. This is what it is. I think that's probably the best way to go about the, to explain it, to say it, to enunciate it. It's Sideshow has broken trust with the six scale community by one, producing subpar figures, consistently subpar figures, consistently subpar figures. The reviews are out there. You can see them. You can see the complaints. Um, and number two, before they even produce the subpar figures, they are producing figures that we actually want. They're like um, the Wolverine, the X-Men line. I really, really, really want them to do a good job on that. But they really, really, really don't. The bodies suck. They're subpar. They, um, the, the latest debacle was the Mythos Obi-Wan, where they just out of the blue just said, hey, uh, you know, we've been shipping these with double joint elbows, but now this latest batch, and don't they don't tell anybody. It's just people unbox it and go, hey, I can't bend the arm but 90 degrees. What the hell? Well, it was because they switched it to a single joint elbow and told nobody. They've broken trust with the six scale community. I don't, I don't know what other way to say it. That's what they've done. And um, 
just is what it is. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this whole Grievous thing in the comment section down below. Like I said, I already knew about this. I'm not shocked at all. I'm still getting it. I will still review it. I will display it with all my clones I got. And I will rig it up to make it do whatever I want to do. Um, and I know that I overpaid for it. So there's that. So uh, as far as upcoming Hot Toys news, it's been very, very quiet. Now we should have already seen, where's Rex? Like Rex should already been out. Death Watch Mando, that one should already have been out. Right? Those should have been out. We haven't seen the Obi-Wan Kenobi, General Kenobi, put up for pre-order yet. What the heck's going on with that? So it's been very quiet. I've heard uh, people talk about in-game Hulk coming out. And i got to be quite honest with you guys. I've been buying every Hot Toy figure they released. I don't think I'm going to get in-game Hulk. I don't think I'm going to get it. Uh, unless I just get an overwhelming, like, you have to review it in the comment section down below. And, and you guys just blow it up. And you really, really are excited for that figure. I don't think I'm going to get it. I think there's too many other good figures out there and good characters out there being produced um, that make more sense for me to buy and me to review and me to enjoy. But Endgame Hulk, I don't think is one of them. We'll see. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'll change my mind. Maybe I won't. But at this, at the current point, not terribly excited about that one. Uh, but there's some other ones I'm looking forward to. Uh, where's our Miles Morales and Spider-Gwen? I like. I want the Gwen Stacy and Miles figures from uh, End of the Spider Spider Verse. I really, really want those. I anticipated figures, right? So that's going on. Um, I mean, there's that. There's Shazam. I haven't seen that one. Um, but maybe we'll get another Neon Tech like Grogu or something like that. I don't know. Um, not a whole lot going on there. As soon as I do have something for you guys, I will share it with you. I don't like speculating. Uh, I don't say I don't like the what if you know what if they did this and they might do this and the, I just I try not to do that for you guys because there's enough of that already out there. Um, I try to just share facts as best I can. Um, so I don't want to speculate. Uh, maybe one day I'll do an episode on these are like the ten figures I'd like to see or something like that. Um, but not today. So uh, that's the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I do have episode 2.0 of The Grid coming. I've got some unboxings. If you'd like to see these figures unboxed and reviewed, let me know in the comment section down below. If you haven't already joined the Facebook group, you should do that for sure. You should definitely do that. Thanks for your support, guys. Hope you all have a great one. Collect what you like. See you next time. <laughs>